So the advanced three trial was one of the first trial evaluating the long detection window for an ICD to avoid in unnecessary therapies. Uh, the rationale was that if you avoid unnecessary therapies, you reduce hospitalization, you reduce shocks, you in increase the quality of life of the patient, and maybe you can also have a reduction of uh, mortality. At the origin, the trial was enrolling 1,900 patients and uh, enrolling patients with single chamber, dual chamber, and triple chamber ICD. Uh, the paper we present here is concerning just patients with a single chamber ICD, that is roughly 550 patients enrolled in the trial. And we could uh, demonstrate that with the long detection window, we reduced dramatically the number of unnecessary shocks and therapies. We reduced also total and cardiovascular hospitalization and last but not least, we reduce also mortality significantly. And this is uh, really new information that it was achievable only from um, advanced three trial that included all the type of defibrillator and patient in primary and secondary uh, prevention. As I previously told you, the study design was trying to enroll every patient that was a candidate to an ICD, meaning single chamber, dual chamber, and triple chamber. And this is pretty new because MADIRIT did not include single chamber patient. The most important finding is that uh, uh, with the long detection window, it was possible to dramatically reduce appropriate shocks, appropriate therapies, and uh, overall therapies. That means that there are a lot of ventricular tachyarrhythmias that are self-terminating if you just wait a little. And this is extremely important. Concerning patients in single chamber ICD, it is extremely important to reduce cost in this population, reduce a complication and so if you use a single chamber ICD instead of a dual chamber ICD with this result it is pretty clear that it's much better to utilize one single chamber ICD than a double chamber ICD. I think that especially in this period in which uh, there is a great attention to cost and to reduce complication our research clearly pointed out the fact that uh, it is possible to obtain very good results in single chamber ICD with one single lead and not two, and uh, reducing cost of uh, the device and of hospitalization. So I think it's a really good result. This is the first trial demonstrating such a good result in single chamber ICD and as usual it, it should be better to have another trial that could confirm our result at that point no more doubt and we go for single chamber ICD in this kind of patients.